Ladies and gentlemen, we're jumping into game number one into the line of dawn. We go for the first match of the day. BTK taking on Meta. All right, let's go. Do we see Shark trying to invade? I think with the recent patch, isn't this really... It doesn't really work at the moment, trying to invade and um, delay the enemy jungler. Yeah, I feel like what Shark is doing right now is just trying to oh, get no, vision, you know, opening position, up the map yep. a little bit. And we do see well, everyone just like. really just mm -hmm. feeling it out at the moment. Yeah, both teams just feeling it out. They don't really want to go for, um, you know, a crazy aggressive plays this early on, especially considering that, again, BTK is kill pressure. Shark already looking Ooh. for the hook there down below. Almost gets it onto the Beatrix, but good movement and good a good read from Sirius down below. In the top side as well, we do see Fight Chicken winning it out in the trade against Annie. And Meta, in the early stage, we can already see them kind of, um, you know, they're kind of losing in these lanes individually, right? Annie in that top side and Sirius also getting shoved in. It's all about the, you know, to be honest, for um, the side of Meta, it's about the macro play. If they can out-rotate um, BTK, then they can really, really press their towers and really take Zane away from that sort of jungle because Zane showed when his team is on the back foot, he'll go push the lanes. And sort of take himself away from the objectives. Yeah, so it's all about the that thing macro is right play. now, going about going up against the Bowman, right? It, it's just really tough for Moba Zane to to really look for any uh, of these neutral objectives. The first little wanderer, BTK didn't even try to contest it because again, Meta they just have so much pressure on that little wanderer down below. That's gonna be a dive here. They go for it. Three v one under the turret. Zia will fall. That's the first blood taken away. But it's gonna be Shark going for the hook. Trying to look for compensation, but he might be dove on next. And that's easy for Hal, taking a whole lot of damage from the turret. Mikasa popping the sprint, jumping all the way under that turret to pick up the kill onto Shark. He finally does it with a few, uh, mo you know, a few, a few crazy movements. A few crazy moves jiggles there. there. <laughs> but they did give the turtle, so they, they were, they were happy to give the, the first blood. The two kills over for the one turtle. I don't know if it's really, you know, two, three kills. Yeah, three kills taken down now. Six goes in for another stun onto Shark, who gets the hook. But again, it feels like BTK, they're being, they're being all traded right now. Spy Chicken goes for the proxy, clears out the wave now. Will be forced out of that jungle. It's easy for Howl. This guy, he's just putting on so much pressure on all sides of the map. Bottom side, now top side. They do pick up the favorable trade here. They're already ahead by 2,000 gold. Two, three minutes into the game, and they were able to press that bottom tower. So really, they're saying, "I know, we know that Zia is one of your win conditions. So we're going to make his life hard and not let him really farm up too much." And now you see Beatrix trying to go down and get that, um, that more of that gold plating in the top lane. Love, I love the rotation and the movement from the side of Meta. Oh. But down below, though, Shark goes into oh. Bloody Hunt. Will be able to connect that hook onto Annie, but it is a Ruby down below. Not really that easy to target. He doesn't have the flicker, though, so maybe now they can look for a dive. Perhaps with Moba Zane also rotating aggressively into that bottom side. They want to look for a trade, but it seems like Annie really aware currently. Oh, Cancels out the recall, though. This is going to be dangerous. Shark opens up the map. They will just be able to zone Annie away from that turret. Pick up a little bit of gold, but in that top side, once again, that's going to be the Numenon Blast. Fight six with the flicker, and the real world manipulation will be popped as well. White Chicken caught pinned down on that turret, but there is no minion wave there. It's just help Meta look for that pick off. Down below, trade goes through. Shark has rotated up top, and Meta will be forced to back out of this turret push here in the fourth minute of the game. The way that meta is really just pressing um, BTK at the moment is, it's just affecting the way that they can farm and um, like BTK is scrambling at the moment, I feel. Just scrambling to try to get their positioning back. Nope. And then you do you see yeah, the, the Retri and the, uh, the, um, the lethal counter, they're able to just take that turtle down. Yeah, but how? He got the retribution, but now he's gonna be caught out. But Noob now Blast comes through. Moba Zane jumps in, will be able to pick up one. That's gonna be serious. Jumping away with a flicker, but he will fall next. A double kill from Moba Zane. He's looking for the triple kill. And this is where BTK are able to find that compensation and come back into the game instantaneously. The goal lead that we saw earlier 2,000, 3,000 built up, now almost completely gone. I really don't know why Hal decided to. 
to flex and to flex there. He should have just gone back into his jungle and farmed a little bit more. Going in for that engage sort of really just takes away that turtle you just got. And a bit of the good work that you've done early on. The six though, top side, looking for the Numenon Blast. Gets it onto Tunibiru's passion to follow it through. Kush goes in, tries to look for a pickoff, but it is gonna be Hal who zones Kush away, forces him to use that sprint. A valuable resource already popped here. That's gonna be the real world inflation. Popped in, use Kush, caught in that immobility and will be taken down. That's a killing spree already for Mikasa in the mid lane. This guy was such a huge factor for meta in the first match of this tournament the knockout stage and now you can see him shine once again 3-0 mikasa is one of the best majors i've seen in the nact the way that he positions is amazing like you just seen there the way that he positioned he he like most people wouldn't have been able to catch that sicilian with the sprint activated and the um you know the bats feast activated because that that movement speed is so high but um just the placement of that ulti of the of real world manipulation is just amazing uh, by Mikasa. Good this game is sense. Insane though, right? Combat. This is this is crazy. What we're seeing right now, Meta. They're out picking BTK in the early stage of the game. They're going in for more. And Moba Zane, he's actually gonna be forced to be. You know, he's he's forced back into his own jungle. As Meta, they put so much pressure on the map. They got the two turret lead here, right? Compared to BTK, only has one. And they've been the one securing the every single turtle so far. This is gonna build up that XP lead coming through. Sure, Bruno has been free farming, but it's gonna. Get rough for them in the stage. Six goes over to stun onto Kush, and my oh. goodness, that shot from Sirius from the mid lane with the Renner goes in, but Shark oh my be god, able to pull up. just a roamer though. That's not what you want to look for. Instant collapse. The Numenau blasts onto two in the real world manipulation to wipe BTK off that mid lane meta. They want the to look for that upset. White Chicken trying to buy some time, but he's gonna get stunned up. He's gonna get taken down there oh by Mikasa, who is unstoppable. What is going on? Meta is just like in, like putting down their will right now and saying, BTK, what do you have? And honestly, I I just really like the way that Meta is forcing BTK BTK back every single time, changing the team fights into a, a counter attack and winning most of the time. I don't I think BTK is one one team fight, one trade. To the Man, side yeah, of, you know of Meta. Yeah, I mean, right now, buddy, I'm glad I woke up early for this because I am wide awake <laughs> now, you know? I, I can throw the coffee out the window. This is a <laughs> game, and this is... This is already so different to what many of us expected. We expected BTK to stomp, but this is not what they're oh doing right Zane, now. Get Zane. Zane. Oh, almost, almost yeah. there. Still has that first ability to get out, but they're Real actually world onto this. Moba okay. Zane losing out a lot of HP. Sirius jumping in with a render shot. A shark will actually be the one to fall there. Now, Numenon Blast once again by six, trying to lock Kush down, but the sprint once again from Kush going to be popped there to get out. Meta out rotating and picking off BTK members all across the board. They're just doing the meta game better than BTK at the moment, and it's like really that. strange. Because BTK is is one of the best macro play teams I've I've seen in in NACT. Um, so yeah, it's re they've really done their homework here. And you see, Zane's not even going to try to contest this Lord here. Give it to the side of Meta. All you can really do right now is BTK is damage control. Trade a tower for the Lord. Trade a kill for a tower. I don't know as much as you can do. Try to get those objectives. Oh my at the god, end of the look at that once again. Sharky goes in for the play, but it actually turns around on its head. Meta is the one who uh, actually come out on top from that. 3-0, they're looking for more. Is Mikasa go going under the turret onto Kushi. Will be able to slow him down. Will he just get this without the real world inflation? He dives oh into Kush. Gonna get two Kush. on a monster Kush. kill from Mikasa. Absolute domination from Meta here in game number one. BCK have no response. 
whatsoever. With the Lord marching down, they might be looking to go for more here. Falling Sirenwood onto one member. How gonna be caught out there, but it is gonna be Fly Chicken who loses all of his HP. Moa Zane jumps in only to retreat as Meta once again. They're pushing the tempo. They're looking for more. Moa Zane gets pushed back into the base. Real and the real world manipulation gets popped up and used now that they know that Shark doesn't have the iron hook and he's still not able to connect on it right now. And they did get that t that that in uh, tower just there. Um, they did push enough to get through the mid and um, take a couple of them down at the same time. So it's an awesome push by Meta. Good hook there by Shark, but he's gonna get punished once again here by the Numenon Blast. Falling time, we're trying to look for the re-engage as he will be locked down. The lethal counter takes a chunk, and Sirius takes the kill. They're looking for the siege once again, but there you go. That's the hook you want onto Howl. They pick it up, and now Kush going back in with a bad feast, trying to look once again to just zone meta away. Buy some time for BTK to, you know, come back into this game. But so far, it feels like, you know, meta. They've just been forcing everything on BTK, not letting them think at all. Yeah, Meta has not taken the foot off the, off the pedal at, at this moment in time in this game. They've literally been 100 from the start of the match to right now. And I, I'm, I'm just hoping that they can keep it going. Because I would love to see BTK on the back foot and really, really, you know, put in some work and see what they got. And see if they can answer this. Yeah, and the thing is, Combat, it's gonna be the first time in a long time that BTK will have to play from behind. Can you remember the last time they had to do this in NA, right? It has to be M3. That's when they were actually able to play it from behind there. But look at this, Moba Zayn looking for the flanks, gonna get zoned away by Hal, who opens up the map. But let's talk a little bit about that, right? During M3, how were they able to adapt against an opponent who had this much aggression in that early stage? Well, it was really just the way that they, um, yeah, I sound like a broken record, but their macro play in M3, it, that's where it really improved and they and they sort of worked on it a lot there. Um, we don't see Cardi right now. Um, Cardi is probably, when, when Zayn plays a damaged jungler, I like to see Cardi in the lineup because he offers that, that playmaking offlane ability that can still sort of act as a, you know, second proxy tank to um, to Zayn. So I think that's like one of the issues here because <clears throat> when Karina goes in, he, you don't really have a front line. You have Esmeralda. Um, Franco's more of a, you know, hide in the bush hook sort of hero. Maybe, you know, scare some people off and make, you, make them think that you've got the bloody hunt. Um, but yeah, again, it's, um, it's a strange matchup. What do you think, Mirko? It it's a very strange matchup here, but oh, wait a minute. Okay, they're just uh, under the turret onto BTK. Moba Zane is the only one left. What's no. going on? They're looking for the base. They're looking for the end. 1-0. Meta. Set already for the first match of the day. The first game. And BTK are on the back foot. Meta have just... What in the world?